Okay. Three, two, one. Glowing Up Latina, Season 2, Episode 7. Welcome to another episode of Glowing Up Latina. Hi. Hello. I'm Christina. I'm Amanda. And I'm Liana. How are you doing, guys? How was y'all's Christmas? Christmas was quiet. Christmas was very quiet. Constantine got sick. Oh. So we stayed home. Yeah, girl. We stayed home. Oh, my I God. Didn't... Wait. Yeah, I never went to go see my grandparents and didn't get to visit them because we had like this crazy East Coast blizzard cyclo bomb, whatever this thing was called <laughs> that hit the, that hit the East Coast. So I couldn't see my um my grandparents and the weather was weird. We had like temperatures that reached like negative degrees out here. So I did not go. Constantine and I, Constantine and I spent Christmas together officially as a married couple Cute. by our lonesome selves <laughs> Cute. so yeah oh, goodness i saw the weather was like really bad in new york Bro. those couple of days and it was like it was really bad in new york and then the next couple of days it was like stupid cold in texas it was ridiculous yeah i don't know what's happening but this cold needs to stop <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be 70 degrees here tomorrow though i'm very excited yeah, oh, 71. That must be nice. <laughs> it was nice today. People were, were out in shorts and stuff. And I was just like, guys, you need to calm down. <laughs> I mean, I had a, I had like my pea coat on, but it was definitely unbuttoned, but like it was, it was warm, but not like yeah. that warm. Short, but yeah. yeah. How about you guys? How was Christmas? It was good. Um, went to my uncle's house. We had karaoke, did our traditional since you've been gone karaoke <laughs> duet. Um, <laughs> had a lot of food. That was good. It was good. Yeah. It was a good time. Nice. Very good. Christina. We had a good Christmas. We played games. I helped my grandma and them make Christmas breakfast this year. That was really fun. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to see first because like we have Christmas breakfast with my dad's family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, usually we just show up. <laughs> Bro, I don't know how they do all that. Like we would just show up and everything would be done. I was like dicing and peeling like five pounds of potatoes. I was like, these people are not going to eat five pounds of potatoes. Let's not feed them. <laughs> and they sure enough, they did. They ate, Everybody eats all the food. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know how they did it. And my grandma used to do it. Like, my great grandma used to do it, like, by herself. Like, would have everything ready and, like, crazy. It makes you wonder, right? Like, you think about it. Like, you're doing it now. We're older, right? We do all these things now. And it's just like, damn, my grandma actually did all this for all these people. A lot right of a lot of and we feed. used to have like every now and then we would have like just breakfast like sunday breakfast like my mm -hmm. grandma would i don't know if she would like get in the mood or what would happen but she would call and be like hey like we're gonna have breakfast on sunday everybody come over at this time and then too like it was pretty much basically the same thing that we have at christmas because there were mm -hmm. so many of us mm -hmm. and still like everything would just be done when we got there just crazy oh cra it is it is crazy and now, like, there's more of us because, like, I have cousins who are, like, they have boyfriends or and fiancés and their kids. Like, oh, so many people. <laughs> we had to eat in shifts this year at breakfast. So, oh bef yeah, before my the big move, um, before my grandparents move and my aunts and uncle moved, uh, we had to take shifts. We had to. We couldn't sit on the table. Like, even though we put, like, a second table out, it just wasn't enough. So yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Also, because Constantine was sick, my aunt, um, who, you know, lives in the same building as I do, she was so kind enough to give me a call because she asked me, she's like, wait, why are you here? Because she saw like, I guess my cousins must have saw that through my like my Instagram story that I was home. Mm -hmm. And she was like, she calls me and she goes, why are you here? And I'm like, mm, I explained to her what happened. Da, 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 da. And she goes, do you want the malice? I was like, ah. Aww. I was like, if you can, That's if you so can nice. spare some, Thea, I would appreciate it. Oh, like, yeah, come upstairs. <laughs> so I went up quickly, got my tamales. So, yeah, that was nice. Were they good? Oh, my God. There's no question. Like, <laughs> love them. Yes. See, we had some at my mom's because then in the afternoon, we do my mom's um, with her family. 
And oh, those were so good. My uncle got them for us this year. So good. Oof. And yeah, it was good. Good time. Um, New Year's Eve is coming up. Very exciting. Yes, yes, yes. My yes. second favorite holiday. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yes, I love New Year's. <laughs> well, you do it. Well, you guys do a big thing, right? Your family? Yeah. So this year we're doing the hall. We're going back to the hall again and we're going to have food, drinks, going to get a band, DJ. It's going to be it's going to be a great time. Very nice. Yeah. And does Norin go with you or how does that mm-hmm. work? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does his so, family come? So they used to, um, but it's hard because not all of them are here because like so his uh, his sister is in another state right now his other sister is like in the process of moving so it's just this year i don't know if it'll work yeah out mm-hmm. for everyone but tomorrow we're spending a, a good chunk of the day with them to, okay you know, yeah we'll balance it out i mm-hmm. feel that i feel that i respect it yeah what do you do amanda um in the past we used to um be at my grandmother's um, do a little dinner, um, wait to wait until the ball would drop, dance a little bit and then go home. That, that we, you know, that's what we used to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but then that stopped for a bit because be- this was before Uber, <laughs> um, before Uber was a thing, before Lyft was a thing. We, cause a majority of my family, we don't like have a car. Some of them drive, but they don't have a car. So we would always have to order a cab. Mm, and like used to call year- the car service oh, new year's eve was such a pain right yeah to call a car service and get a cab and it would be like an hour or two hours before you get a cab so we kind of stopped doing you know meeting up for new year's because of that and that was like really the main reason kind of why i started doing new year's with constantine because um, his family always do something, you know, they don't celebrate Christmas like that. They celebrate New Year's and that's like their Christmas. It's so and that's when they exchange gifts. So I started going to that. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll meet up um, before I think. What's how we're we meeting up? I do not know. <laughs> I have to find out. With I need to consult with Constantine. But yes, but we're going to meet up for dinner for sure. I don't know the time yet, but um. We eat, watch the ball drop, drink. Um, I told Constantine, I was like, uh, when we get home, I would like to continue to party. So <laughs> <laughs> blast that bad bunny. <laughs> I know I want to, but it's kind of far. It is far. It's in, it's in- <laughs> it's Oh, like- in Brooklyn? Yeah. I, I thought you were in Queens. Jer- I thought you were in Jersey. That's why I asked mm-hmm. you if it was the same in brooklyn (laughs) ma'am so yes that's what we do guys that is our new year's eve now do y'all do anything for hanukkah with constantine's family um like exchanging of gifts no um we usually have um dinner either the beginning or at the end of hanukkah but this year um his mom has been like super busy with work um, she got like this new project on her hand, so we couldn't, you know, do much. But his grandmother was kind enough to um, send over some potato latkes. <laughs> so oh, we have nice. potato latkes. And the first night of Hanukkah, they, I don't know where the idea comes from, but they do Hanukkah donuts. I guess Ooh. something sweet to start the holiday. I don't, I don't know. I have to look that up. <laughs> um, if anybody knows, I'm listening to the podcast. Let us know. Um, Constantine's going to be like me, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got um, Hanukkah donuts and we had our potato latkes. We um, lit up the menorah every night. Constantine said a little prayer and that's what we did. I made sure that we're, he's keeping that alive. That's good. If, if I don't Do remind him. Had y'all saw some menorah? So his mom gifted us one for, I think it was a housewarming gift. But oh, it's yeah, a, you have it on top of your couch, right? Right, but it's very pretty and I don't want to use it. I don't yeah. want to put any real candles, like the wax candles and it's going to drip. Mm-mm. So I just, that's for show. That's decorative. Mm-hmm. So instead I got one on Amazon. It's an electric <laughs> menorah. <laughs> and you just keep pressing the buttons until, you know, you get the one that needs to light up for the night. And I put that right next to the Christmas tree. 
Candle safety is very important. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and my tree. Nobody's ruining my tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Because you get a real tree. I get a real tree. Mm -hmm. Well, next year I am thinking about getting a fake tree. I have a whole idea for next year. I keep telling this to Constantine and he's just like, where do you think we have the space? But it's going to work. <laughs> it's going to work. I was thinking, because so we at my house in Texas have switched to a fake tree. I have protested for years because my brother has advocated for years for a fake tree and he won this year. So it's actually, it turned out to be very pretty. I got to say, my mom did an amazing job with the tree. We even switched up the theme. It was like a Grinch theme this year. Cute. It's very cute. We even got matching like Grinch pillows for the couch. So it was Aww. good. I am still not pro team fake tree though. Cause mostly cause I was thinking like, when you're living in New York, where the F are you going to store a nine foot fake tree? That's, that's what Constantine is like. So where are you going to store this this tree, Amanda? I'm like, we'll figure it out. But does not <laughs> mean I'm not going to get a real tree next year. I will still get a real tree. Ooh. So that's what I'm saying. So we shall wait and see. Very excited. cute. Yes. Well, I don't do anything. For, I've never been a big New Year's person. I think there was like a brief period of time. Maybe from the ages 21 to 23, where I was like, woo, let's go out. But then, like, I went back to, like, not wanting to do anything. Um, I spend it with my little cousins, actually. Um, I have everybody. Well, I guess I only have two small ones now. But before, when the kids were, like, smaller, we would actually, when I was little, go to my grandma's on New Year's Eve. And we would we used to call it Boys and Girls Night because they would all come. Everybody would come over to spend the night. Mm -hmm. so we used to do that but my little cousins will come over we'll eat some pizza play some games hopefully everybody's knocked out by 1205 <laughs> <laughs> then i'll get up in the morning and take them to breakfast and take their butts back to their parents here <laughs> get <laughs> the out. child is fed has slept <laughs> please take them back <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we'll do but in the spirit of New Year's, you guys, we will be talking about our resolutions for the year, which we are so excited because we'll be able to, at the end of the year, I'm going to take these clips and play them back to oh see boy. where we felt. I know. That should be so much fun, though. No. Oh, I boy. Like <laughs> Accountability. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take these clips and we'll play them back and it'll be fun to to see how we did. So that is what we will be talking about on today's episode. But to get us started, you guys, I was wondering if y'all made any resolutions for 2022 or if y'all had any successful resolutions for 2022. How did that go for y'all? I didn't have any resolutions. I Mostly I just wanted to go into 2022. Like I already knew what I was going into, basically getting married. You know, we had the trip, uh, DR, um, planning the honeymoon like just there were things I already knew that was going to happen and I just needed to check them off the list mm -hmm. <laughs> and get through it you know while keeping my sanity so um and I did maybe that was a resolution okay fine it was we're a big there. year for you it was a big year I know I love 2022 <laughs> <laughs> I do I don't want to say goodbye but um that was mine to make it through. Yeah, to make it through. I think you did a good job. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Um, let's see, for me, I had a couple. I really wanted to learn how to like drive by myself this year, and I did it. Now I'm driving everywhere. Watch <laughs> out, streets of New York. <laughs> um, <laughs> So driving was definitely one. And then getting a new job was a big one for me that I really wanted to do this year. And working out, getting being more committed to fitness and like eating healthier and all that stuff. Very nice. Christina? I don't think I had any. I think I just like, well, no, I guess I take that back. I went into 2022 like really struggling with my mental health and I was like, bro, we got to get a grip because this is not fun. <laughs> um, so really like I 
feel like I talk to myself so much better than I did last year. And I've gotten like a really good handle on how to handle any like depressive episodes that I may have or, you know, anything like that. So I'm really proud of myself for that because your girl was struggling last year. (laughs) Um, Part of that had to do, though, with the fact that I was unemployed and waiting to hear back if I passed the bar. Also, because I studied for like, it was just a mess. 2021 was a mess. Don't go to law school, anybody at all, ever. It's not fun. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. That's a good one, though. Yeah. So we did it. Yay. <laughs> we're, we are here. We are glowing. We are thriving. Honestly, because I feel like that's all you can ask for is to survive yes. the year. It was it was been a hard couple of years in general, like everybody like dealing with COVID and like coming out of it. Like, mm-hmm. congratulations yeah. to you for making it this far so do you guys have any new year's resolutions uh so i've been seeing a lot of like pick one word that you want to go into and what's another word like bring to life like your focus yes i guess so maybe that's maybe that's the word i'm trying to did you see our friends post today because that's what i saw and it like got me thinking it was like pick one word to take into 2023 with you i keep so I keep seeing those posts. Mm. It's probably because I keep looking at them and, you know. So I keep, like, in my head, I keep seeing the word peace. Mm. And I don't, I'm trying to figure out where that's coming from, but it's just, like, sitting in my head. I cannot think of any other word but peace. You know what's crazy is when you were talking, I was like, she's going to say peace or peaceful and look at you. Oh, I hate when we do this. It really... <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I need my brain, Amanda. <laughs> Here, I'm just give it to you. But yeah, it's it's um peace. That's what I want to focus on this year. And when I see peace, it's not like I have a lot of like it's not like my life is hectic or chaotic. It's just um if there's peace, I feel like that brings balance in my life. Mm-hmm. So it's just a trickling effect. And I think if I approach everything um with a a like a peaceful mind a well-balanced mind then everything will come into place so that is that's how i'm going into 2023 tomorrow midnight just peace (laughs) but tonight chaos (laughs) toxic (laughs) uh do you have like a plan in your head on like how to achieve peace or is it just like when the moment presents itself like you'd always choose the peaceful road um definitely when the moment presents itself but also in my life I think um my way of thinking um that's what like I'm trying to focus on and trying to work through because um, like I said, I already knew what I was going to, I was, I already expected all the things that I did and, you know, planned on for 2022, but for 2023, it's like a blank canvas right now. There's, there's so many things that could happen or could not happen or can't happen. Like, so therefore whatever gets thrown at me or, um, or doesn't happen, I need to come to peace with that. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. that's yes. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. So that's how I'm looking at it because I don't know what's going to happen in 2023. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. and I think that kind of scares me a little bit. It does. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. So, um, whatever gets thrown at me, got to tell myself, Amanda, keep <laughs> saying, be at peace. It is what it is. <laughs> Could you imagine the one thing that happens that you don't want to have and you're just like, peace <laughs> <F> peace <laughs> peace and love peace and love <laughs> um what about you liana do you have a word that you would focus on for the year mm, i guess presence like and by that i just mean like being more present being more like i don't know because i feel like 2022 like how do I put this? 2022, I was really like learning a lot about myself as a as a as a person, like who I am, things I like, 
or like not things I like, just like just figuring out things that give me peace, things that give me like that vibe with me, things that are just like for me and getting rid of the things that are not for me. And so I think like 2023 is now where I'm just like, okay, these are all the things that I have taken from 2022. Now I just have to be like more present. And like my game plan for that is just like, you know, spending more time with my family, seeing my cousins more, you know, like just being, being there, I guess. I don't Mm -hmm. know. Yeah. I learned this year that time is just like, it goes by so fast and you never really know, like, you never know when's the last Mm -hmm. time you're going to talk to somebody or when's the last time you're going to be able to like have a good conversation with anyone. So it's just like, I want to go into 2023 appreciating all the times that I have with the people that I have in my life. So that's what I'm going for in 2023. Very nice. How about you? Um, oh gosh, one word. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it, it is, is hard. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> Can I get a hyphenated word? I don't... <laughs> That's cheating, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, because the word I'm like thinking of, well, I'm thinking of like outspoken, but I don't think that like properly conveys like what I'm trying to like do in 2023 was really like this past year has made me realize that like that I can be like very passive about things that are happening to me and so like I don't want to use the word aggressive because that's not what I mean but like Mm. but I can be like (laughs) that's so funny Amanda's like I'm going in with peace I know (laughs) I know like aggression (laughs) oh the hills were so serene (laughs) um because like I don't mean like aggressive but just like I do can wanna... let things fester, you know, like if something, so if somebody does something that bothers me, I can let it fester to like, or not fester, like sit until it gets to a point where it's like too much. And then it becomes a bigger thing than is necessary. If that makes sense. Like my goal for 2023 is to be more vocal mm-hmm. about like, Hey, you're hurting my feelings or Hey, I think we had a misunderstanding and I really want to work it out in like a calm manner. I was going to say, do you want to be like, uh, like affirmative, but I think that's probably too strong too. Is that Yeah. Strong? Like think of like or the most valid- peaceful or validation. thing you can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I can't think of a word for that. I don't. Yeah. But I, I don't see know. when you say outspoken, I know what, I know what you're saying. I, I know you don't mean like so blunt. You don't want to yeah. be like that, but you, you want to be heard and you want to be, um, you want to be seen. Seen. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yes. Okay. We're going to look this up while you guys keep, keep. Yeah. I, Cause I don't know what word I would use for that, but like, I just like, I want to make it clear, like what my boundaries are and when people cross them and like really work on using, like I feel statements instead of like accusatory language when having discussions with people. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah. I'm really growing to like, I feel statements because I feel like it gets across like, Hey, I feel this way. I don't, I know maybe you didn't intend for me to feel this way, but like, this is what I'm feeling. Like, can we talk about it? Well, maybe it's honesty. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yes. That's a good one. Yes. Thank you, Google. (laughs) Some of them were like explicit. (laughs) No, (laughs) no, not aggressive. Unreserved. Life reserved. <laughs> if I get two words, we're using soft aggression. <laughs> like my soft error, but like also just a tad aggressive. <laughs> no, this one is plain spoken. Okay. That makes me sound a little boring though. I don't like that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, really my game plan for that is just kind of like what I said to be like, hey, like I feel this is what's happening. Like, can we talk about it? And you know, I can only talk about it with people who are receptive to hearing me Mm -hmm. and that's a like I feel like it's all it's touching on all the things we talked about in this like from this episode going forward because like I have to look at my boundaries and be like is it worth it to have this conversation with this person like how badly do I want them in my life and you know all that other stuff that we think Mm -hmm. about Mm -hmm. I also feel the part when you said like you you're going to do that with people who are receptive to you like who will you know 
actually like work it out work it and out. actually have the conversation and not just be like oh okay you don't know what you're talking about like uh, that's or, like, or yeah. brush it off yeah. so I think that like me personally I would I I don't know how kudos to you yeah <laughs> kudos to you I don't know how I could do it I don't know but you know what it, it is needed I had one of those moments this year where I needed to discuss something with someone and you know um waited for time to you know, lapse, take a breather, step away from the situation. But because the person means so much to me, I'm, I, I'm not just going to let it, you know, um, brush it under the rug, sweep it under the rug and not approach the situation, especially if it's, if it's bothering one of us Mm -hmm. or, you know, or bothering both of us, but I, it needs to be said. And I'm glad that, um, I did that. I don't think two years ago, like me would be able to do that, you know? So it's hard, but I felt like it was necessary. And if you feel like it's necessary and it brings you peace and honesty, then yeah, go for it. Yeah. No, honesty was a really good word for it. Cause basically like all I want to do is like be honest about my feelings and not constantly just be like, yes, everything's okay. I'm fine. Don't worry about it that thing that I think we all do that like you know what I mean in order to like avoid the big conversation or the whatever small argument or big argument whatever is to be had Mm -hmm. so yeah (laughs) but um do you have any other personal resolutions for the year um so I think my personal resolutions having a particularly hard time at work right now um so a work-life balance is definitely needed I want to read more my goal is to read, I would like to try to read 50 books this year. So Ooh. we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's like less than one book a week. Um, And I would like to be more structured and like have like an actual routine. So especially with the podcast, like when we're in season, like life mm-hmm. is pretty busy. Mm-hmm. Um, And then we have like Jamaica coming up and we all have like other things going on. So want to really be on top of it <laughs> these first couple of months at least mm-hmm. so yeah i think that's it structure i love structure <laughs> um i need to get back on my routine working out that, that's something like physically like for my m- mental health and my you know, my health um i need to in 2023 get back to working out i've had this thing going on on my shoulder for the past like two months almost now Oh, girl. Have you heard this saying? My body is a temple. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm also trying to look at that this year, too. 2023, my body is a temple. I need to be cautious of what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my body. Um, Just be healthier, make healthier choices. So I feel you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of things in 2023. But what about you, Liana? Do you have any personal resolutions for the year? Um, I would definitely like to read more because at my old job, like I just stopped reading like entirely. Like I haven't really read a full book in a really long time. And like Big, Ch- Big Chicas Don't Cry was like the first book that I've read from like from cover to cover in a long time. So definitely want to read more than that in 2023 um want to learn how to invest better in 2023 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and yeah Mm -hmm. and then like what I said before just like being more present just I think those would be my big my main I don't know how I'm gonna do on the read we'll see when we when you play this back (laughs) next year (laughs) I'm gonna be like oh I've only read one book (laughs) (laughs) Uh, well I know in March we'll be reading Too Soon for Adios so I'll be excited for that yeah. <laughs> excited for that I should have added um, God I want to be better well I don't know what that was I want to be better with my money which I guess plays into my mom's a little bit about going to sugar fish less but I want to be better be- wow apparently I don't want to be better with my money in 2023 I can't get the sentence out subconsciously <laughs> Whoa, <literally>. subconsciously <laughs> we don't want that to come 
no, I do want to be better with my money in 2023. I was better in 2022 than I was in 2021. But you know, always room for improvement. And who knows what we will be needing money for in 2023. So I need to save it up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yes, we do not know what we what come, what's coming in 2023. Exactly my point. So yes, <laughs> need to save a little bit extra, a little harder. So yeah. Okay. And you guys, do we have any resolutions for the podcast? More listeners, more listeners, networking opportunities. Okay, listeners, mm-hmm. networking opportunities. I'm going to say merch. I think merch <gasps> is going to be coming to y'all in 2023. Ooh. I'm like pretty confident about it. I can see it happening. And Manifest then, it. Yes. Yes. And bro, I need to figure out what I'm doing for the YouTube. That's mine because I, I don't know what's <sighs> happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's my resolution for 2023 for the podcast okay liana mine would be this is like pie in the sky though this is like real like far-fetched goal like i would want a studio for the podcast mm-hmm. i don't know if that's gonna happen in 2023 <laughs> but we can dream we can <laughs> dream we're gonna manifest it <laughs> and liana just mentioned sponsorship so There we go, you guys. Six of them. We'll see what happens. We're going to see, man. I like very unrealistically, every time Apple News is like, this uh, big news organization put out its best of podcast list. I'm like, let me just look. Let me just uh, scroll real quick. (laughs) It's like super up there. (laughs) Right. Just the New Yorker (laughs) and the Atlantic. No big deal. (laughs) I'll imagine. (laughs) Okay. So there we go. Those are our New Year's resolutions, both personal and for the podcast. I'm telling you guys, I really think merch is coming. So y'all be on the lookout. Woohoo. Yes, guys. And you guys, before we go completely, what is making y'all glow this week? Yes, yes. I I thought so far ahead that I did not think about (laughs) like this week. I got to be honest, our little break, it was a glow for me. Mm -hmm. it was good because it was i was thinking like oh maybe we could have recorded during the holiday season but it was so busy there was like there was no possible way so it was nice i'll piggyback off of that but then also like my mind was still running about the podcast so i would like send you guys oh we should do this oh we should do that like i like that um my mind was doing that naturally Mm -hmm. i like when my mind does that so um yes guys all for you all, all for the listeners we're working when we're not working (laughs) <laughs> yes <laughs> for sure um i think my goal this week was seeing my friend my lot my old time friend um i love her uh we i haven't seen her since we moved to our studio place because we used to live like around the corner from each other um mm. and i got to see her today got to hang out and catch up so i really i really like that hey yeah, very nice yeah i met up with my friends too from high school it's always a fun time when i met, I met up with one of my friends from high school look two of that. them actually look at us we caught up with high school friends this week <laughs> look at that it was a great time i, knew, just, oh, I God, knew 10 years ago yeah i knew stuff since seventh grade okay right mm, yeah you know her right my friend yeah. that i met up with i've known her since seventh grade oh actually Same. so we were born a couple of days apart and we've known each other like since then then we didn't go to the same elementary school and we went to but our parents were like friends and then we went to the same junior high and then we all became best friends there and yeah from the womb right literally we're like (laughs) the way you guys are like a couple of days apart i think her and i are a week apart oh maybe maybe a week and a half but yeah yeah, my high school friends. So two of them I've known since like the sixth grade. And then the rest I've known since high school. So it's a long time. Especially the ones that I've known since middle school. Yeah. Long time. Gosh. I keep them in my life for a reason, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And as y'all know, in 2023, Amanda and Liana and Christina will be turning 30 years old. 
We'll be entering a new decade. So exciting. <laughs> and we are going to Jamaica in February for Amanda and Liana's birthday. And Christina is going to start planning her birthday trip soon. And she is so excited. <laughs> uh, so good. But we hope you guys have a very happy new year. We'll be a couple of days into the new year by the time y'all hear this episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we hope everybody has a fun and safe time on New Year's Eve. And we are wishing y'all nothing but love, light, and happiness for 2023. Yes. Don't forget to have your grapes, your 12 grapes. Wear your bright colored underwear. Uh, what? Walk around the apartment, the house with a uh, suitcase for more trips in 2023. Clean your space, your house, your home. Sage the heck out of it. That is on my list tomorrow to do. (laughs) And Liana, where can the people find us? You guys can catch us every Wednesdays on Spotify. You can listen to us on Apple Music. You can hear, listen and watch us on YouTube. (laughs) And you can stream the entire first season wherever, wherever you want. (laughs) (laughs) And you can also find us on Instagram at Glowing Up Latina follow our stories our I, I must say i love our reels recently so continue to look out for that um send us how you're glowing uh, send us an email at glowing at gmail.com and until next time keep glowing mija bye bye, bye guys